The animals of the Serengeti Plains have a large territory in which to roam, so please be sure to look carefully around as you drive slowly through. By now you have most likely seen the ostrich. These easily recognizable creatures are the world's largest flightless birds, flightless because their wing muscles are not strong enough to support their weight. The adult males weigh as much as 350 pounds and can grow to a height of 8 feet. They can attain a running speed of up to 35 miles per hour, which is a good defense against most would-be predators. They are extremely strong and can be very aggressive, so keep your doors and windows closed and locked at all times. An ostrich can inflict severe injury with a swift kick of its powerful leg or even with its beak. Adult male ostriches can be distinguished by their black feathers, while the feathers of females and immature birds are a dull gray. Eggs are usually laid here at Lion Country between February and June. Be sure to keep a sharp eye out for the nests. These large ground nests may contain 30 or more eggs at a time. You won't be able to miss the eggs if they're around. Each one is about the size of a cantaloupe and weighs about 2 pounds. Although they are the largest eggs in the world, they are also the smallest egg in proportion to body size produced by any bird. If you're looking for a souvenir, ostrich eggs are seasonally available for sale at our main gift shop. Also found in this expansive preserve are a variety of hoofed animals called ungulates, which can be easily identified by the different shapes of their horns. By the way, do you know the difference between antlers and horns? Antlers, which are typical headgear of deer, are made of bone and are shed and regrown again every year. Horns, which are the headgear of antelope, sheep, goats, and cattle, have a bony core with an outer covering made up of keratin. That's the same protein that makes up your hair and fingernails. Horns are not shed annually and actually continue to grow throughout the animal's lifetime. Now I'll describe some of the different species to keep watch for as you continue your safari today. The eland is the largest of the African antelope species, with males reaching 6 feet at the shoulder and weighing 1,500 pounds. They have a thin orange-colored coat with a few vertical white stripes across the shoulders and sides. Both males and females have straight screw-like horns that are often three feet long. A flap of skin called a dewlap hangs down at the front of the neck and bears a tuft of hair on the end of it. They are found in small herds in the open habitats of East Africa. Eland are easily tamed and are farmed in some parts of Africa for meat and milk. Eland milk has triple the fat content and twice the protein of the milk from a dairy cow. Do you remember the water buck that we saw in Ruaha National Park? You should be able to spot more of these animals in this section. Remember that water buck have the white target-like markings on their rumps. If you look carefully, you can probably see males and females. The females have no horns, giving them a particularly gentle appearance. Female water buck will often attempt to conceal their newborn calves in thickets or tall grass for the first two to four weeks of life. Calves are very mobile shortly after birth, however, and often wander about on their own. An unusual-looking member of the antelope family is the wildebeest, also known as the gnu. They have a top-heavy appearance due to their muscular shoulders and thin legs. Their body fur is gray, marked by black stripes across the shoulders. Their horns curve out over their ears and turn sharply upward at the ends. There is a fringe of hair on their chest, and their faces are strongly whiskered. They appear to be a cross between a cow, a horse, and a mule, with a beard thrown in for good measure. They certainly are aggressive-looking beasts, but they go into antics when approached, dashing off and wheeling about to gaze at any intruders. In Africa, they are a favorite food source for the lion, and the young are frequently eaten by hyenas. In dry seasons, some herds migrate in tremendous numbers to reach water and fresh feeding grounds. Their reproduction is highly seasonal. All births within a herd occur mainly within a two to three week period. An unusual looking member of the antelope family is the wildebeest, also known as the gnu. They have a top heavy appearance due to their muscular shoulders and thin He's legs. Forced. At the front windshield, populations are declining due to habitat loss and integrating with domestic <laughs> sheep. <laughs> Look, there he is, TJ, out your side. Running. Hey kids, are you mad about mammals? 
Do you rave about reptiles? Are you bonkers for birds? Then come spend some time with us this summer at Safari Day Camp. Each week-long adventure includes hands-on animal activities Here they are. Look at them and behind-the-scenes tours. Not to mention swimming, arts and crafts, paddle boating, water play area, group games, miniature golf, Look and at much, him. Much Check more. it out. Your registration will include please a Safari stop Day touching Camper it, please. t-shirt, please. cap, water bottle, and souvenir Look photo. it. Look, he's Plus, crossing the street. All of lunches, snacks, Where and craft supplies. You'll have a roaring good time. I should wait or should I be so hard? further information at the main oh. office. Beat okay. the horn. No, you can't. At you will soon be reaching the gates to the next Why preserve. In case you have not yet reached that point. <laughs> <laughs> Rhinos, yes! Whoa, rhinos! Yeah. I said there is rhinos that we never saw! DJ, cut it out. Look at all the poop in the road. Ew. Oh, uh -huh. ew. Don't want to do the deer's poop. Ew. Oh, that's why I had my seatbelt on. It'll go off in like five seconds. Okay. It's going to be bladder. It has to be in the Okay. Mommy, do you know some birds eat poop? Yeah, yeah, right. All right, look out here under these things. There's animals there. Oh, right, there's deer. You know what? You're lucky you get to see anything. Is that very All right, ready? Here we go. Stop this recording now and restart it, and you have reached the sign marked Quangy National Park. Quangy. Mm -hmm. All right, here we are. Here are rhinos, the they're in here. here I told some you of Africa's know. most interesting creatures, all roaming Where? freely and sharing I don't know, the same I saw the territory. Sign. Because this territory is so large, the animals may vary there they are. in various parts of this preserve at rhinos different times of the day. Zebra. And zebra. Our animals always have the right of way. Although a white rhinoceros is not aggressive by nature, these massive animals may cause unintentional damage through natural activities. Please I give the rhinos plenty of room to cross the roads, and do not stop your vehicle close to them. Speaking of rhinos, you are sure to see many endangered southern white rhinoceroses here in Huangi mm. National Park. Don't let their names fool you. They are actually stone gray in color. Their name is derived from the Afrikaans word vide, meaning wide or square-lipped. As gray zones, white rhinos have a wider mouth than black rhinos, Look at the zebras, which are browsers. They are quite gregarious animals and are usually found in small groups in thick woodland or grassy open spaces. White rhinos can weigh as much as three and a half tons, stand more than six feet at the shoulder, and be longer than the average mid-sized automobile. All rhinos are short sighted, but they have acute senses of smell and hearing. Look at how cool they are! They're basically peaceful creatures in spite of their formidable looking horns. It is widely believed that the horns are made of a bony material. Actually, the horns are composed of a mass of fibers made of keratin, the See, same protein right found in the, the antelope's horns yeah. and in our own hair and fingernails. Rhinos have been extensively overhunted for their bomb? horns, which in some parts of the world are carved and used as ceremonial <laughs> dagger <laughs> <animals laughs> Are, are you guys watching the animals purposes. or not? Today, yeah. all species of well, rhinos said, are in severe danger of extinction in the wild. We are proud to say that many southern yeah. white rhinos have been born here at Lyon. Whatever you're doing, please stop. I hear a lot of banging, TJ. Look at he's rolling around. Did you see it? He's yeah. rolling over. That's what they like to do in the dark. Well, I almost missed it because I wasn't looking. Here comes one crossing the street. Let's see. He's gonna go right in front of our car. Yes. Hey, guy. Hi. You pick your elbow. Look, Hi. he waved his tail at us. Hi, beautiful. They really are beautiful animals. They look just like horses.